Okay everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to make a search box and how to filter data using PHP MySQL. So before getting started, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon so that whenever I upload a video, you will be getting a message regarding that. Follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. In previous video, we have done like how to insert checkbox value into a database. We saw how to edit also the checkbox value and I have shown in this video. If you have not yet watched the previous video, do watch it. In this video, we'll make a search box. Instead of making it in the index page, I don't want to confuse uh, this concept so that I'll be creating a new page. Let me close this. And uh, here I will create one file which is search box dot ph open register page in register page you can see the header footer so we will include this thing so copy this and paste it here now we will give a h4 tag and check typing hello by default it will be your index page right i mean which is login page so here let's give search box dot php so here you can see hello let's go design the form first so here what we'll do is we'll tell container row column md 8 let's make it 8 and inside this so i want an input tag so let me create an input tag of type text let me give give the name as search and give a placeholder is equal to search here or you can give type here anything is fine let us give a button also give a button and inside this button give type is equal to submit and give a class for this button let me give btn btn primary and for now i am not giving any name let me give text as search let us go reload this and check reload this page so you can see something like a text box and you have got a button design this properly let us make it in center and align little bit down inside container give margin top as 5 and for row give justify content center enter and then inside this input tag give a class as form control save this and reload with this button i want here so how to do that you have some inbuilt thing in get bootstrap let's go check get bootstrap this is 5.2.3 and type input so here you have this we don't need this we want this something like this and it has to get searched here let's take this just copy this input group class name and go to your code class paste this and cut this div and paste it here just align this give it app space let's go reload now and check so you can see the button is here and something is clear now now what we have to do is see something we are typing here so when i click on the search button it's not clickable why type submit okay this is not clickable so this has to be inside a form right so let's go to a form cut this paste it here just align it let's give control a and right click for my document so it will align it in proper way Control shift r and click on the search button now you can see something the name is coming here the name of the input box so when i type uh, sneha and give search this has to come here as well as here right so that this value we have to first get so what we'll do is we'll give inside input tag give an attribute value inside this open close php and tell if the set of dollar get of the search copy paste 
then what should happen is then we will just echo we'll just echo dollar get of search give a semicolon here now go and reload now you can see when i tell sneha this is storing here as well right so now we have to get few datas right so we are going to get it from let me show you php tutorials from this users table we are going to fetch this data and we are going to uh, like the required columns suppose if i require only name phone email we are only going to uh, search for the required columns so let's see how to do that now here if method as get another column which is column md 2l i'm creating and inside this i want i need a table so before table let's give a card 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 body before card body let's give a card header card header inside this give some text as how to how to create search box and filter data using php my sql let's go and reload back here reload now you can see something of this sort let's make this little bold or let's give this in an h4 tag paste it give a class then let this get aligned to the center so how to create search box and filter data using php mysql so we are going to search here and the data is going to get filtered now let's remove this now first we have to fetch the data right we have to fetch these datas so let's go back and write the code for it so inside this we are going to fetch it in a table format let's design let's give table dot table dot table ordered so inside this table we have two things that is table head and we have t body table body okay inside table body we will have tr and the table data inside th we are going to have the tr and the table header so let's give the table header first one let it be id and copy paste 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 let's give name phone and email we are going to fetch only these four field we should write the code for it so here reload and check you can see id name phone email we are only going to fetch id name id is not required actually so name phone email and password is there that also is not required terms and condition uh, all these are not required let's only fetch id name phone and email inside table body we'll just write the code to fetch it so open close php and first we, we have to do is we have to give the connection first okay here we are going to check if is set of dollar get of search if that search is there we are checking if that search is there then we will be writing the code we are not going to write dollar connection is equal to using my sqli connect function give your database name so i'll just copy this from the previous thing which i have done here here you can see connection so let's copy this connection so copy this and paste it here so this is my variable name so why it is giving an error so this is my variable name using my sqli connect i am just passing the host root and username and password is null and this is a database name so after this we have to write the query to fetch the data right so let's write the query for it filter data or filter okay filter data is equal to we are going to write select query so select star 
from users table and here you have to add a where clause to concatenate the columns, the required columns. So let's concatenate. So use con concat function. Inside this, pass the column that you need. So I'm going to tell ID, name, phone, and email. So these are the columns that I need. So you can go check your columns here. So ID, name, phone, and email. So according to your requirement, just select the column name like within single quotes type percentage and pass the variable pass the variable in the sense here we should create that search variable so that we have to pass it so let's create that variable here so dollar filter value is equal to dollar get of we have to pass this variable here so what does this like do? Like will search for specified column from your table. So we have just passed and give the semicolon. Filter data run query I'm writing using my SQLI query. Just connect your database as well as the previous. I'm going to fetch. So use my SQLI num rows of this data. If it is greater than zero, which means if there is data, then use the for loop or while loop. Else, we are going to echo. Here we can do one thing. We we'll just cut this. I'll just tell you why. Here, if the data is present, we are going to loop. Else, we are not going to loop. Data is present. We are using for each loop. Each filter run as dollar row. That's your variable name. You can give anything here inside this PHP code. We want the HTML tag. So what we'll do is we have we'll open close this. Close and open PHP once again. So here we'll be writing our TRTD. So again here we have something like that. So we'll just close and open. If the particular value that we are searching for is not found. Then we have to give no record from that. Also we'll display in a table of format. So give a TR. And inside this, give a TD and give a class. Sorry, give call span. Call span is equal to one, two, three, four. So give four. And type no record. This is going to be the else part, which means that if there is no data, but that particular data we are entering is not being found, then this will be shown. If that is being found, then give a TR and inside TD. Open close PHP and tell echo dollar row of ID. Give a semicolon. Copy paste this three more times. Give the names accordingly. It was name, phone number, and then we have the email. We have done with the fetching things. Go reload and check. So here you can see, let me remove this and give enter. So you can see three data has been fetched. From this, we are going to filter data. If I type Anu search, we are getting the data of Anu. Let me search 9. So, wherever there is 9, it will give us. So, here we have 9, here we have 9. So, it is giving two data. So, when you type something which is not there in that particular column which we have given, so let me search Zen. I am searching for Zen. So, when I search this, I get no record found, which means this is not available anywhere. In the column that we have. So I hope this video was helpful. And uh, if you have any doubt. Let me know in the comment section. Like share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.